The Lulu's gonna die to the dot. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mario here from Malo Ladies Up Against Plague and Machiners in G1 Siege. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's talk about something real quick. I just wanted to say that I did get partnered with YouTube not too long ago. So thank you all so much for the support this year. It's been so crazy. And we're finally at the partnership. Now, it's kind of weird because I'm not at a thousand subs, but that's a topic for another thing. But just thank you all for everything this year. It's been a crazy ride. Thank you for giving me a voice on this platform. Thank you for listening, watching my content. I really appreciate you all. My goal is to make better and better content for you all. For all my little Martians out there. As cheesy as that sounds. But I do want to improve just everything about my content. The videos, the editing, the thumbnails, everything. Including the consistency that I post in. But yeah, thank you guys all so much. I love you. Now let's jump into the siege. Now for the first battle of the day, we're going to hit this Theo, Chichlet, and Perna. We're coming into it with Tractor, Windy, Lulu. My Lulu does have a minus water just in case that Theo goes crazy. Now this is the siege where this team finally gets pretty wrecked here. So we get stripped, defense broken, the Theo procs. What? What the fuck? The Lulu is going to die to the dot. Oh no. So let's say 2v3 now. Can this 2v3 actually handle this defense? I've thought about it, and I always thought that it should be able to. Can it actually do it though? So we're going to need to get rid of that Theo. There's a lot of procs coming out on their side. We get one proc, another proc. Okay, we almost popped the Endure. Skill 3 coming out onto the Tractor. We get increased cool time. It's okay, we only use skill 1 here. And we are going to pop the Endure. Thankfully, no proc from the Theo. We are going to go for the kill on the Theo right here. Very nice. We get a proc. We're going to go for the Perna. It's a 2v2 now. We're not out of the woods yet. We can lose this one because of that Perna proccing like crazy. Can we get a stun? No stun. The Perna is fairly squishy, but it does a good amount of damage. I think it's minus 23 on my Windy too. Okay, we get a stun. Nice proc. We're going to go for the Perna. We get rid of the Perna's first life. Now we have to get rid of the second one. Skill 3 coming out. We still have the shield. We lost the shield. Nice counter. Oh, we get stunned up. Not looking good here. Can we stun? We get a stun here. She cleanses it and she goes for a skill 3 onto the Windy. The shield's up. Is the Perna gonna break through it? We stun procs, breaks the shield. Luckily, no proc. Okay, we should be able to kill here. Nice, we do get the kill. It's a 2v1 though. And this Chichilic could potentially win if she procs like crazy, killing the Windy. And then just procking like crazy, killing the tractor. We get her down to half health. She's probably gonna pop that shield soon. My Windy has like a ball hair of health. And we should be able to win this one as long as we can stun her up. Luckily, she doesn't go for the Windy. And we do secure the win. Very sketchy. But the 2v3 actually works. GG's. Now for this next one, we're going to hit this Kamun, Vigor, and Lumei. We're coming into it with Miang, Tion, and Lucian. I did put the Tion on my Tiana set so we can outspeed it here. Hopefully, we are able to. Okay, we do outspeed. We're going to boost up the Lucian. Do we have enough damage though? Okay, we clear out two of the three, and the Miang is going to be able to take on this Kamu, no problem. Especially after the buff. Honestly, really liking her skill too after the buff. Like using her on offense a lot more now. We won't be able to break the shield with the Lucian, but we're going to boost up the Miang. Skill to the Kamu for some pretty good damage. Now for this next one, we're going to hit another Theo, Chichlid, and Perna. We're coming into it with Galleon, Tiana, and Zyros. The goal here is to land the triple defense break and then reset with the Zyros. Can we get the triple defense break though? Okay, we do get the triple defense break. Can we get the reset? Nice, we get the reset and two kills. And Tiana will finish off the Theo. For this next one, we're going to hit this Odin, Tessa, and Riley. We're coming into it with a double battle angel. Win the Madeline cookie team. We're going to snipe the Riley, snipe the Tessa, and then 3v1 that Odin, hopefully. Alright, we're going to boost up here. And then we're going to go for the kill onto the Riley. Let's see how much damage it does. 55k. Pretty tanky. Then the Tessa. Not enough damage. Okay, this is going to be really sketchy here. Look at he doesn't proc. Now to play it safe, we're going to try to go for the stun onto the Odin. Nice, we land the stun. And I think the Claire should be able to finish off the Tessa with the skill 3. Okay, perfect. We get some attack bar from that. Luckily, no Odin proc as well. 
but we're not going to be able to take him down. He's probably going to snipe something here. Okay, he goes for the Sonya. Not too bad. We're going to boost up the Claire. And she should be able to finish him off with the skill 1. Okay, first life down. And I think we're safe here. Okay, he's proccing. But I don't think he's going to be able to do much here. The Claire will skill to him to death. Nice. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. We're going to hit this. Chandra, Nora, and Savannah. We're coming into it with Juno, Wendy, and Camilla. I did think about autoing it, but honestly, we played safe here. We're just going to go for the manual. I did speed it up, though, because it's a pretty safe team. We're going to go for the Chandra first to get rid of him because the hug can be really annoying. We don't want him to be using the skill 3, giving him turns a bit more often. And then after we get rid of him, honestly, the 3v2 just automatically wins because this is a really safe offense against this kind of defense when there really isn't too much of a threat. The Savannah can be a threat, but... She's not going to be able to do much to the Camilla, especially if she's tanky. Mine isn't even that tanky, honestly, and she's slow. But yeah, the Chandra's down, and that's a 3v2, and we basically have this one in the bag. Now, after this siege, I did end up switching my Camilla runes. I did end up buffing my Claire and Sonya runes as well, so I'll probably showcase those in the next one. If it wasn't the next siege, the siege after that. But my battle angels do a little bit more damage, making it a bit safer, so we don't have to really worry about situations like that with the Tessa. At least, I hope. Now for this next one, we're going to hit this Chandra, Nora, and Dominic. We're coming into it with the Wind Madeline Cookie, Covenant, and Bethany. I did end up buffing my Covenant to be a little bit faster. I think I gave him like 16-ish more speed. Now he's above the 150 just for Yuzef. That way I don't get cut. We're going to boost up. We're going to go for the Snipe onto the Dominic first. We don't want to deal with the Dominic. And then we're going to go for the Nora here. Okay, nice. And now it's a 3v1. We should be okay unless the Chandra Pox like crazy. Okay, he's doing pretty good damage too. Not too good here. We're gonna have to try to get rid of him ASAP. He's proccing. He goes for the kill on the Bethany. Now it's, it's a 2v1. We're gonna boost up the Covenant. Hopefully he could take a hit. He took one hit. Can we stun? Now this might be able to kill. Yes, it does. GG. For this next one, we're gonna hit this Triana, Iris, and Suki. We're just gonna Lucian this one. I know this team can be built very tanky. I have one that's similar with a Molly, just trying it out. But I highly doubt that this can withstand a Mirne boosted Lucian. Let's see if I'm wrong. Okay, they have a shield set, which might make this a little bit trickier. But we're going to boost up the Lucian here. Can we clear this? No problem. <laughs> yes, we do. Now for this next one, we're going to hit this Ayunu, Kinky, and Harmonia. We're coming into it with Galleon, Orion, and Kaki. One of my guildies, I think it was Pure, told me that they were all off will. So we shouldn't have a problem here with letting the defense breaks, hopefully. Okay, skill 3 coming out. We get the stun on the Harmonia. Can we land the defense breaks, though? Yes, we do. And we're going to use skill 2. Okay, we get rid of them. Know your fucking place, trash. Now it's a 3v1, and we should have this one in the bag, and no problem. Shout out to Ice for this team. I know he uses this team a lot. And shout out to Pure for the callout. It's really important that you guys make callouts if you can. And you could probably get some matches like that. Next up, we're going to hit this Chandra, Savannah, and Volantis with Feng Yan, Tetra, and Leo. Really safe team. I also could have just Lucian this one. But I'm probably going to build another Lucian just for cases like this. I can use Mirne, Tion, Lucian. And then I could use Miing, Tion, Lucian. And then for the last one, I can use the Light Ninja, Dova, and Lucian. So for sure, outspeed something. Nah, actually probably not because my Swift is trash. But yeah, this team is really safe. Honestly, not really too much to worry about. The Tetra is going to be taking a lot of the hits from the Savannah. And you could probably just kill something. I tried to go for the Chandra first just so you don't have to deal with the hug. Then we go for the Savannah and we finish off the Volantis. For this last one, we are going to hit this Chandra Nora and Lumei. We're coming into it with the other Feng Yan, Aaliyah, and Perna. Now, this one can be a little bit sketchy just because we do have the Nora strips. Just like that, the provokes, the defense breaks from the Lumei. And then the annoyingness of the Chandra. Okay, we almost lose the Perna, unfortunately. We're going to use skill 3 here. We don't cleanse the defense break off. We're going to use skill 4 here to heal up a little bit. And we're going to try to go for the Chandra, honestly, just to get rid of him. Wow, the Perna actually critted on water. Good job, Perna. Wow, the Perna actually critted on water. Good job, Perna. Yeah, we don't want to be giving that Nora stacks. And we also don't want to try to get revenge by that Lumei if she used skill 3. So we're going to try to go for the Chandra if possible. And then we can go for either or. Okay, skill 4 coming out. We get stripped or butt naked. Oof. We do snipe. 
the Nora though, and we're gonna try to do some damage on the Lumei so we can hurt the Chandra. We did some pretty good damage, and at this point, it's honestly a win because Feng Yan with the buff is just, just too nasty, honestly. And they don't have heals to top it off. While we're waiting, what do you guys think about the recent patch where you can set one of your defense mons to use a certain skill? You can only select one mon, one skill. Like, dude, Contest just fixed the entire fucking AI of the game. Well, let's check out the contribution. We have Dino Scam at the top, followed by me in second, and then Ice Killer in third third place. We actually ended up losing the siege because a lot of our players have been kind of inactive recently. We have Pure Mage with 245 contribution at the top, insane Pure. And then we have Destra at 230 in second place, followed by me in third. It was ours to win, but we've just been having some players inactive. Shout out to my 10-0s, 9-1s, 8-2s. Pure had 19 defense wins, Dino with 10-0, Ice with the 10-0, and Destra with the 10-0. So we actually had 153 swords left, quite a bit amount of swords. We usually have like about 90 that don't get used, but this was a lot more than usual. Plague had 66 and the Machiners went all the way down to zero. Shout out to them for using all their attacks. Now let's go ahead and check out the trophy box. Do we finally get something good from this trophy box? Okay, let's see. We get some scrolls, eight scrolls and some crystals, not too bad. I will take it. Now we gotta go straight to the summon hand, just see if we get anything good. We get some lightning. We get a Wind Horus. Okay, not too bad. Seven more scrolls. Can we get anything good? You know, we've been looking for a Nat 5 so we could stop and save scrolls. Can this be it? Nope. We get a Fire Gargoyle. Four more scrolls. Another Lightning. Can this be it? No, we get a Neostone Fighter. Three more scrolls. We're most likely not going to get it. But for now, I am going to be starting to save scrolls. At least not the Mystical Scrolls and LDs for now until I get LD Lightning and then a Nat 5 from Mystical Scrolls. Here's another little summon session that I had, 25 scrolls. Can we get it from this session? We're starting this one off pretty crappy. We don't have any lightning so far, 18 more scrolls. We have a couple of water scrolls as well. A couple meaning 10. Okay, we get one lightning. What is it? We get a four star steel commander. I thought it was the water one. That would have been pretty cool. Now at this point in the game, what am I looking for nat five wise? Honestly, really nothing. What I do want is some good LD4s and another LD5. I guess I could say that I do want a Bulwark just for TOA Hell. I had to stop at the Miles section of TOA Hell just because I couldn't beat it. And I wasn't going to try to CC it over and over again when it wasn't working out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys don't mind, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Again, thank you guys all so much for the support this past year. Love you guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.